order awaits you in the study. Thank you, Albert. Good evening, Mother. No, thank you, Edward. I can't. Yes, I do, Edward. I wish to talk to you about your brother, George. I see. I don't want you to send him to Burgundy. Being at the vineyards in Macon means certain death to him. I think that you underestimate George. I believe that he will curb his appetite for drink and handle himself with a degree of sense. He knows liquor is his downfall, so he won't drink too much. Please be assured of that. He's an alcoholic. He can't help himself. It's his choice whether he goes to France or not, Mother. All I can say is, you are sentencing him to death. I'm begging you, Ned. Rescind this offer to your brother. I just told you, Mother. He doesn't have to go. You don't understand, do you? He won't go anywhere else. Because you've picked him to go to Macomb. I'll talk to George tomorrow. He can go anywhere he wishes. I told you that. As long as he leaves England. He is your brother. Can't you forgive him? No. That's not possible. 